Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to turn a spline or 3D object into an emitter using the inheritance effector. Let's start with the spline. Create a star spline by clicking and holding on the rectangle icon and choosing star from the pop-up palette. Go to the object tab. Reduce the points to 6. Set the plane to XZ and adjust the star in the viewport. Create a matrix by clicking and holding on the cloner icon and choosing matrix from the pop-up palette. Rename it to matrix for star. Go to the object tab and change the mode property from grid to object. Drag and drop the star into the object field. Increase the count to 100. Go to the Transform tab and reduce the scale of the matrices along all three coordinate axes to 0.3. We do this for the convenience of further work. After rendering, these matrices will not be visible. Create an emitter by opening the Simulate menu and clicking on Emitter. Go to the Coordinates tab and set the RP property to 90 degrees so that our emitter emits upwards. Go to the Particle tab, increase the birth rate viewport and birth rate renderer to 300 and set the speed to 10,000. Create one more matrix. Rename it to matrix for emitter. Go to the object tab and change the mode from grid to object and drag and drop the emitter into the object field. Now let's transfer the parameters from one matrix to another using the inheritance effector. For this, select the matrix for emitter in the object manager. Create an inheritance effector by clicking and holding on the plane icon and choosing inheritance from the pop-up palette. Go to the effector tab of the inheritance object. Reduce the strength to 99%. Drag and drop the matrix for star into the object field. And check the morph motion object box. Make the emitter invisible in the viewport by double-clicking on the top visibility dot to the right of it. And test the animation by pressing the play forwards button in the animation toolbar. Stop the animation and go to the start of the timeline. Now let's overlay the matrices with objects that will be visible after rendering. For this, create a platonic object. Reduce its radius to 20 cm. Then create a cloner. Make the platonic object a child of the cloner. Select the cloner in the object manager. Go to the object tab. Change the mode from grid to object. And drag and drop the matrix for emitter into the object field. To color the objects, open the material manager. Create a new material. Change its color to red. Apply it to the platonic. And close the material manager. Make matrix for star and matrix for emitter invisible in the viewport. And press the play button to test the animation. To make objects move at different speeds, select the emitter in the object manager. Go to the particle step and set the speed variation to about 5%. Stop the animation and go to the start. This is what we got after rendering. Now let's replace the star spline with a 3D object. Create a torus. Go to the Object tab and increase the ring radius to 120 cm. 
delete the star spline, select the matrix for star, go to the object tab, drag and drop the torus into the object field, increase the count to 1000, and rename the matrix for star to matrix for torus. Press the play button. Let's move our scene around in the viewport. This is what we got after rendering. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.